Hi YouTube, I hate to make this video, but since February of 2022, it's now November of 2022, my wife has been unable to really walk or bike or do any of the activities we normally would do. She has been extremely active all her life. When she was younger, she used to canoe race and did things like the 70 mile General Clinton, the 90 mile Adirondack Classic, and then she took up running and did a lot of shorter races, winning many of them. And then she did several marathons. And then she started running ultra marathons and won the Vermont 50 twice. She did 100 miles on a track once. As recently as 2018, we hiked 1,000 miles of the Appalachian Trail. Here she's running part of it. And in 2021, we did a cross Vermont, cross New Hampshire, five-day bikepacking trip. So even though we're getting a lot older, we're still very active. All her life, exercise has been just something she did every single day. And since February, she's really been unable to do any exercise at all. She can't walk very far. She can't bike. We've been to a million doctors and none of them have helped. And I'm going to let her describe some of what we've been through. What I'm hoping out of this video is maybe we'll reach somebody who knows a doctor that we could go to who could really look into why this is happening. All the ultrasounds and MRIs and x-rays are showing nothing. Blood tests show nothing. Even the blood tests for inflammation. She has almost zero inflammation in her body. And her spine and all the other things all look fantastic. There's no degenerative arthritis hardly anywhere in her body. So if anybody knows a doctor, especially one in Massachusetts, we have Tufts Health Plan. We're really not covered outside of Massachusetts. If somebody knows anybody who would specialize in this kind of thing and be very good at diagnosing and following through and trying to figure out what's going wrong, we'd appreciate knowing. So hopefully maybe somebody will be able to help us. I almost forgot one thing that may or may not be a contributing factor. Back in the spring of 2021, my wife got her second COVID vaccine shot, Moderna, and she was very, very sick during, you know, after it, throwing up and in bed for a couple days. That spring, so this is a whole year prior to what I've been talking about happening. She had the same pain in her left knee and we had to cancel or postpone a bike trip across Vermont and New Hampshire for several weeks while she kind of got better. Although even on the day we were leaving, her knee was hurting her. Beth just hurt her knee. What, you don't think you can go? I don't know, guys. Let's and she did get better and she had no trouble over the summer. She got her her Moderna booster shot December 31st of 2021. Probably four weeks later she was having the same knee pain again and when she got the boot when she got her booster shot, she was sick for like five days. Terribly sick in bed, just a mess. Very dehydrated and everything. I am not a conspiracy theorist in the least, but I'm kind of wondering because I've heard a lot of different things about the COVID vaccine attacking your nerves and giving people heart attacks and stuff like that. So if anybody has any thought on that and how to recover, if that were the problem, I'd love to hear what you thought about that and if there's any way to recover from a vaccine-related injury. My wife is one of those people who if there is listed a adverse reaction to a drug, she will have it. Okay, so this is November 7th, 2022. Back in February, I February of 2022, you started getting pain. Here, massive cramp all the way down to my toes and prevented me from walking and I couldn't really bear weight on this leg. I would just walk stiff-legged or hang onto the walls. The pain is still around this area. I've been to an orthopedic who said it was a nerve thing and he I went to a neurologist. Well, we went we went to an orthopedic who had uh, took first took an x-ray yep. then an MRI, MRI of your knee and, and neither showed any anything. issues. So he sent me to PT and I didn't get better at PT. You actually got worse at PT. And so he sent me to a neurologist and the neurologist did a study on me and found that my sural nerve was impacted 
and it was 75% reduction in amplitude, but it also affected my gastroc muscle, anterior tibialis, and digitorum longus. She said I didn't have any nerve damage or muscle damage, but that it would just take time to heal. So over the summer, we did some acupuncture, massage, chiropractor. chiropractor, and basically nothing has changed. In September, we went and, back And to sometimes our... when you go to these things, it actually hurts. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like the chiropractor tried to adjust that bone there that's on the outside, and caused pain, and so the it, acupuncture I caused, only went once. you only went only once, once, but it did cause quite a bit of pain, and on our drive home, you had me drive for yeah. you. Yeah, because it was uh, hurting my leg then. In September, we went back to her, and she said that she would just rule out things, so I had an MRI of my back which didn't show any reason why I should be having pain. I had a pelvis and showed nothing. I went to a back doctor. He confirmed that I didn't have any back problems and that it was not related, anything here. We've been to two other neurologists, neurologists who... Confirm and say there's nothing... Yeah, and they, they do all the tests where they bash your knee with a hammer and check, uh, check your reflexes and poke prick your, poke your toes with a needle, and she can feel all that. And, and I can touch my She can nose. touch her nose, finger to her nose. She can heels, walk on my toes. Well, the latest one at Leahy Clinic told me I had an orthopedic problem and not a nerve problem, so... Anyways, the last week I had an ultrasound of the back of both of my knees where they found no Baker cyst or no abnormalities. And another theory was that it could be a, a Baker cyst compressing on, on some the nerves, nerves down through my leg, which she they doesn't. found no Baker cyst. No. And what was that other bone in the back? A of fabella. Uh, they confirmed I do not have a fabella in the back of so my So some gastro. people have a bone in the back of their... Um, knee pain. that can cause pain. pain but she doesn't have that bone most people do not have that bone i'm going to a myotherapist myofascia release therapist and i've been three times and she's worked in the back of my leg and she can exactly get the pain there um and my knee swells up on the back of my knee swells up after she works but she's working on the upper part of my leg and in back here and so far we have no diagnosis and i'm not i still have the pain around here it hasn't gotten any better than back in february so basically i can't walk very far and i can't ride my bike at all every day is a see if i can walk and stand on it we weren't doing anything excessive when this started it's just a mystery and we've been unable to find out what's wrong and well so we're looking to the internet to see if anybody can offer any suggestions or if you know any really advanced places that we could go to have this looked at in Massachusetts preferably for insurance purposes. I've seen Sid and Mackie their video on what happened with Sid and how she went to a place out in Boulder, Colorado where they hooked her up to all kinds of electrical stuff and could really see what was going on with her knee electrically and make adjustments. And we're kind of wondering if there's a place like that in yes. Massachusetts that would take Tufts insurance. So if you know of a place, let me know. If Boulder is where we have to go, maybe we'll go there. I'm going to include some video now showing you back in February and a couple other times when she actually could, couldn't even put weight on the leg. Tell me when it hurts and what hurts. Well, when I'm like this. Yeah. It's, it's what hurts? Around. Both it's, sides? Well, I, I the inside can't, and the I outside? can't pinpoint it, Brad. When you lift your toes up, it hurts or no? Oh. And is it this muscle or I, that? And then it's... I it's back around the back? I don't know right now. It's It's... Do you have pain right now? Yeah, I can feel it in here. In the back of your calf. Yep. Not so much this muscle. No, I don't 
think it's down here. Okay, the minute it goes down, yeah, I get more more in here, more in here, and it like uh, it like freezes up. It it I, I don't know how to it oh the pain just comes right in here. And it's like a shooting pain? No. It's an achy pain? An achy pain that says don't do anything. <laughs> don't stand on me. <laughs> I can't bear, I can't put weight on that. And it's, it's basically right around here. You can't take a step towards me. You really... Uh, you're not putting your heel down, right? No, I, I'm trying to pivot so I don't have okay. any weight on my foot. Okay. Oh, right around here. Uh, 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 I, I can't put weight on. Okay, okay, okay. I can't. Oh. Today is Wednesday, April 21st. Beth finished the prednisone yesterday yep. and it really didn't help at all so and today it's worse. Her knee is it's worse all in and I want you to tell me exactly what's wrong well it's all in here and when I walk, okay so is it, is it above this bone I'd have to say yes it's in here well somewhere I don't know and then it felt like it was gonna cramp down here so so what can you I, tell me what hurts? I don't know. But hang on. Somewhere here. So it's above that bone. Oh, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's well, hard to, that's where you're pointing. I to. know I am, but okay. right up from there. Right up from there. Okay. That, that was from doing the deep knee bends. Oh no, you're standing on my toes, right up to there. Okay, oh. so you just stood on your toes. And Can you do it again? Oh, when I shift can't? my weight, when I shifted my weight. So we aggravated it right. by going up on your toes. Yeah. yeah. And now it's right in there. Right. Um, let me, let me, uh, oh boy. Can you walk? No. Did you really hurt no. it? No, no, no. Hang on. I, I don't want to do that again. What just happened? Coming down the stairs. Yeah. Was it hurting before you started downstairs? No, but I just got up again. I just, I just got up and. This seems to happen a lot after she's been in bed. So you were coming down the stairs and it was fine for the first few steps? Yep, yep. And then all of a sudden I felt like a pain coming in. I just stopped. I just stopped. And it's a pain in your lower. Well, right. It feels like it was coming here. I, I, I gotta get, I feel like I want to get it up in the air. Um, All right, show me exactly where. I, 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 I don't want it to start, so I'm trying to. It, it feels like it's cramping? Well, it's that pain, uh, and yeah, I want to say, yeah. All over in here. That's your whole calf. Well, you know, it's, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, almighty. Oh. Okay, see? Well, when I go up, when I pull my toes up like that, I can feel it up into here. And then that releases it. When I go up here, it's... Uh, on my toes and tighten my calf. Okay, today is September 5th, 5th 2022. Since we went to a doctor who said, there's nothing wrong with you. And he said, just, you know, start walking right. And then you've been trying to do that for three days, <laughs> four days? Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday today's Monday. Sunday. And now you've had a relapse. I know of... the pit that I got like um, it wants to cramp down here, okay. and it's way in deep. It's okay. not like, and I got tingly tingles again. Okay. In my feet, and I 
was thinking I couldn't bear way to get on it. And it was, I had to stop and just like rest there and sweepy rub down here. And, and she didn't want to touch in here, but she was trying to get this. It's not coming from my Achilles. It's, uh, it's it, like right in through here, deep in, in the middle. Yeah. Not on the outside, although the tingles are on the bottom of my feet. And, oh, I just could feel it there. And All right, so and you marked your knee. I marked where it so was around. it's above that above, knob. Above, well, it feels like it's above the knob, yeah. Most above. of the time you're telling me it's Yeah, I know because knob. I couldn't tell. But right now, when I just straightened it out, it kind of feels this way. It kind of feels here. Okay. And again, I, it's in the back here, in the back. And so, you know, I don't want to get that a blood clot back here, wherever they said it well, was. Well, I don't think it's again. a blood clot. I think it's a nerve thing. And it's in the here. No, I didn't have any of this the past three, you know, days since that guy told me just, there's nothing wrong with you just start walking. And I've been walking, trying to walk normal. And this is not, it's not because I'm walking. It's not, I'm walking fast. This is not like a normal thing. I know, you're have. still walking extremely slowly. And, and this is, this is really, Ooh. Ooh, what? I get, I get some pain comes from back if here. You, if you press on that, is it sore? I, I, no, this is, it's not sore. This isn't sore, but What's it's extremely pain? sore back here. Okay. It's sore back here. November 7th, 2022. With, you know, pain in the back here. And you woke up with pain in the back? And so it's here. Is it in the back or the front? It's here right now. It's here. This is like a, I was like a dull ache through here, but it was You woke coming. up? No, yeah. when I was at work just now, I was marking these marks where okay. I felt like it was coming from the pain back. And then it's like a dull ache around here and okay. here. And, and then. It looks like you had a mark down there. Yeah, I was, I was marking where I felt pain here. Yeah. Um, I felt like zings and pain in between it's, here. It feels then, like it's cramping. Well, that? when I was just waiting for you, and I was walking just a little bit back and forth on the sidewalk, all of a sudden it felt like it was going to cramp in here. Cramp, like, like cramp, like, like a spasm it, right in this area somewhere. Okay. And so I just stopped, and now I'm gonna put ice on it. Where are you gonna put the ice? I'm gonna put it down here, I guess. But you think it's coming from behind your knee? Yeah, I think, right? I think it's no? coming from here. I mean, I don't really know. It seemed like it was when I had my leg bent, and I know this, my pants are a little. When I it was coming here. And then it's just around here where I've been saying it's just this, it's like a dull ache in here. And but the, the zings are, but I think it's coming from behind here. Can you turn around? Is that swollen again today? Well, it's, I don't know, it might be less, I'm not sure. Looks a little puffy. That, I think it's a little puffy. Sore. That's actually sore to touch. Well, it's sore because I know she worked on me right in here. The myofascial yeah, release person? Yeah, she was doing up in, in here. Was it sore yesterday? Yeah, it was sore yesterday. Hmm. It's sore. My, right here is sore, too. Your butt? My butt. My sits bone. And I told her Why that. is that? I told her that, okay. too, um, it's been, I mean, that 
off and on the sits bone. That's why I thought, okay, the hamstring comes from here down to there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that that wasn't good there when I got out of work. Okay.